Right, so Elmar Nivek, we're looking at A-level maths, the OCR spec, looking at rules of indices. The spec says that you must understand rational indices, positive, negative and zero, and use the laws of indices in the course of algebraic equations. The first thing we look at is how to multiply indices, and to multiply them you actually add the indice. So if we've got a to the m, so a to the power m times a to the power n, we add the indice, so that gives us a to the power m plus n. We can show that works because if we consider a squared times a cubed, we'll get a to the 2 plus 3, which is a to the 5. And to show how that works, look, if we've got a squared there, which is a times a, that's that multiplication sign there. And then we've got a cubed there, a times a times a equals a to the power 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That equals a to the power 5. So it's shown that that, that works. So something like x squared times x cubed will give us x to the power 5 because we have the indices. Um, x to the power 4 multiplied by x to the power 7 will give us x to the 11. Something like 6 squared multiplied by 6 cubed will give us 6 to the power 5. Now to divide numbers with indices we actually subtract the indices. So if we have a to the m divided by a to the n, that will give us a to the n minus n. In this case, we're assuming that m is greater than n. So again, we can show that works. So if we consider a to the power 4 divided by a squared, we should get a squared. So if you look at the a to the 4 there, a times a times a times a, and we divide that by this a to the squared there, a squared, a times a, and we can cancel that with that, cancel that with that, we've got two a's, so we've got a squared. So examples again, if you've got x to the power 6 divided by x cubed, that will give us x to the 6 minus 3, which is x cubed again. x to the 9 divided by x cubed will give us x to the power 6, 9 minus 3 is x to the 6. And 6 to the power 4 divided by 6 squared will give us 6 squared. If we're going to raise a number to a power, for instance, if we've got a to the power m raised to the power n, then we multiply the indices. So that will give us a to the m times n. For instance, um, a cubed squared will give us a to the power 6. Again, we can show how that works, because that's our a cubed there, a times a times a. We're going to square that, which means multiply by itself. That's multiplied by a times a 
times a, and we count them at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That gives us a to the power 6. So, examples x squared to the power 4 will give us x to the power 8. Uh, x cubed cubed will give us x to the power 9. Something like 8 cubed squared will give us 8 to the power 6. Look at negative indices. What that means is we've got something like a to the power minus m. That's equal to 1 over a to the m. So a to the minus 6 is equal to 1 over a to the 6. Uh, x to the minus 2 is equal to 1 over x squared. 2 to the minus 4 is equal to 1 over 2 to the power 4, which is 1 over 2 to the power 4 is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, which is 16. For a zero index, a to the power 0 equals 1. x to the power 0 equals 1. z to the power 0 equals 1. 247.65 to the power 0 equals 1. That's an easy one. Anything to the power 0 equals 1. Uh, fractional indices, we've got something like x to the half equals square root, square root of x. x to the third equals the cube root of x. So 27 raised to the power of third equals a cube root of 27, which is 3. 16 to the half equals a square root of 16, which equals 4. Here's something like 27 to the 2 over 3. How we do that is we take, first of all, take the cube root from here. And then we square it because of that 2 there. So it's the cube root of 27 squared. Well, the cube root of 27 is 3 as we've seen there, and 3 squared is 9. So with this arrangement here, the denominator gives you the root and the numerator gives you the power. And that covers what you need to know for indices for that section in core one. So thanks for watching.